Rwanda is a small country located in the central east of Africa on a total surface area of 22,000 square kilometers. A country of natural beautiful nature, a country of multiple hills which lead to its nickname a country of thousand hills. In these hills, there flows the multiple rivers that researchers believe from the river Nile. Before the colonialists, Rwanda were in the dark about the Christianity. In those times, they had their local gods they used to worship. It has been over 100 years since the good news of Jesus Christ has reached Rwanda. The Anglican Church came to Rwanda in 1920. It was starting in Gahin in the eastern province. As years passed, the good news was spread across the country and the church grew bigger and several dioceses were established and in October 1975, Rotary Diocese was born. Rotary Diocese is located in the southern province of Rwanda at 140 km from the capital city of Rwanda, Kigali and at 31 km from the southern border of Lundi and Rwanda. After 41 years, Rotary Diocese has grew enough since the Rotary Diocese was born, it has been led by three bishops, Bishop Augustine Ndandar, Bishop Veniste Mutigand, and Bishop Nathan Gasatra Kamsime. In 2009, Bishop Nathan Gasatra Kamsime was made the Bishop of Rotary Diocese. Bishop Nathan Gasatra Kamsime brought reforms and plans that are helping Rotary Diocese members to develop spiritually and physically, as the Bible says that the Holy Spirit live in a health body. So the Lord really brought us here to begin to command a battle that uh, demanded uh, so much strength and resilience, so much uh, encouragement from the Lord and from his people, uh, so much prayer and so much thinking into how to really turn the situation that was rather uh, hopeless and looked quite, quite apathetic around by God's grace. And so as we prayed with the team that I found here, and previously before I came here, but after I had been uh, elected bishop of this diocese, uh, as I prayed through the night, the Lord gave me a clear word about what he desired for this diocese. And he gave me through prayer, I got through three words that were so clear, so succinct, and so eloquent. Transformation, harmonization, and prosperity. And so when I inquired of the Lord what exactly those words really referred to, or what was it about these three words, and he said, my people's hearts and lives have been shattered. They need to be fed with a message that is going to transform and turn around their lives. Secondly, because of the turmoil and troubles, both during genocide and after, and even before, as well as the specific situation of Butari, they wanted, the Lord wanted us to bring people to reconcile again with him and with one another. And thirdly, the word prosperity, uh, God really saw that people were impoverished physically, intellectually, mentally, in terms of health and physical and otherwise. As the mission of Anglican Church of Rwanda is to spread the good news of Jesus Christ for people to be saved, during the past seven years, Anglican Church of Rwanda Utah Diocese has put more effort for getting more close to people and preaching to them about salvation. More effort was put in to increase the time of playing God. In Anglican Church of Rwanda Utah Diocese, there is revival that has brought changes into Christian life. We have engaged into a lot of prayer movement, you know, beginning what I called morning glory, waking up at 4.30 and beginning to pray in the cathedrals, beginning to pray in the various parishes, beginning to, you know, and every, every month, you know, I encourage the initiative of praying at least the last Friday of the month to spend the whole night in prayer with the Lord, 
bringing every broken piece in Putare, bring every problem, bring the spiritual dark forces that have held this place hostage, bringing every, you know, interfering force of darkness to, you know, to the subjugation and to the subservience of Jesus Christ. And we have seen tremendous turns and changes. In 1994 in Rwanda, there was a genocide against the Tutsi. This tragedy left many ones in many hearts, either to survivors, the people who did the genocide, and those who heard about it. After 22 years of genocide in Rwanda, the effects are still fresh. A lot of orphans, widows, homeless people, and several other effects. In order to help and get close to members of Anglican Church of Rwanda with a diocese, the leaders of this diocese decided to put in their girls' organization. Members are taught to live together in peace without any divisions of any kind, especially of ethnics. Also, to help the genocide survivors and fight against the effects of April 1994 genocide against the Tutsi, there are some people who were built some houses and other houses were rehabilitated. Some people were helped to get medical care and the other people were given cows and at the headquarters of the diocese there was built a memorial site to remember the Tutsi who died during the genocide against the Tutsi that used to play from St. Paul Cathedral. We have also um, been able to address the physical, uh, emotional, psychological needs of orphans and vulnerable children and genocide survivors, mothers and parents that really have had their families wiped out, we've rebuilt their homes, we have been able to reach out and uh, give out uh, the healthcare insurances, we've given out cows to such people that had nothing so they can begin to build their lives, we've been able to uh, give out you know, various things that have encouraged unity within and among the children of God within the respective parishes. And we have also built a memorial uh, statute that, uh, you know, from where we will always remember our loved ones, where all the names that have been found have been listed. In development, Anglican Church of Rwanda, Utah Diocese, has played a great role in developing education. Schools were built for Rwandan children to get schools near their homes. A kindergarten school were built in Butari town. In order to develop technical skills, a technical school was built in Mubumbano Parish. Ariko twebwe inkatwe ababyiga to twumva bizadufasha bikaturinda kwiba cyangwa se icyo tushaka tukakibona kubera umugarakose This school will help the youth who dropped out the school in the villages where the school is built so that the technical skills that they will get will help them for self development so that the whole spirit can live in the health body akagace na gacureba kicyaro cyane kandi muri bimwe igihugu cyacu cy'u Rwanda gifite umugambi no kuzamura icyaro ubwo rero itorero diri muri bamwe bafatikanya n'igihugu cyacu cy'u Rwanda nibwo rero habayo gutekereza kwashira ino shuri byazamura abantu mu buryo bw'imyuga abatashoboye kurangiza amashuri yisumbuye ariko bagire bimwe basobanukirwa harimo ubwubatsi ububaji ubudozi ndetse no gukoresha za mudasobwa kugira ngo abana bacu mu Rwanda babafite iterambere babashe kwibeshaho mu buzima bwabo bamisiyo Those who have graduated from this school 
are using the skills rent to develop themselves. Right now we have almost 100 young people that have acquired all these tools in the last one and a half years and they are making good money out in the communities. They had nothing. They, most of them were going to robbery or other kind of uh, really uh, delinquent kind of behavior, modes and, and activities. Today they have, they are proud, they walk with their heads high because by God's grace this desk has been able to try and mobilize resources in a hard and difficult way, no matter, nevertheless, but we have been able to keep these young people. In order to help pastors and cottagists of different parishes to develop themselves, Anglican Church of Rwanda with the diocese helped them to create informed saving groups where they save money and get small loans between themselves. These groups have helped them to develop significantly. Across the diocese, we have uh, almost uh, you know 500 groups that do the similar thing and part of the, the major objective is basically to fight poverty at the household level and when people have done that God has blessed them they come and give tithes they come and give offerings they come and express thanksgiving to the Lord they come jolly full of vibrance and vivacity to come and praise the Lord because they have seen their lives change and they know it is all because of God's grace and intervention to their lives. In order to help people during their different ceremonies or events, Anglican Church of Rwanda Utah Diocese is planning to build a multipurpose hall in Utah town where this hall will host more than 1,000 people. We intend to build a multipurpose hall that is going to house almost 1,500 people. Uh, we have plans to establish maybe by the end of this year, by God's grace, and this is all by faith, to establish 25 more modern rooms that will add to our guest house, which is not big enough to be able to respond to the demands of our clients. And these 25 rooms will be an extension of that guest house. In order to continue hosting people who visit Butare Town, Anglican Church of Rwanda Utah Diocese is planning to extend the guest house where it will build more than 25 modern rooms for Shalom guest house. In order to continue hosting people visiting Utah Town, Anglican Church of Rwanda Utah Diocese established a coffee shop. This is uh, actually one of the best coffee shops around, uh, uh, around Huye Town. People like the place, they normally come and enjoy the cappuccinos here. We use the best coffee actually in Rwanda. Uh, the coffee used here is from uh, our area, it's local coffee. The coffee shop will be shifted to another place with more space and also put internet for these clients. You know, to create an atmosphere where people will come and drink their coffee, they have a 4G wireless, you know, Wi-Fi, internet, they can be able to do their work, but also listen, take a message that Jesus Christ saves, and that is the ultimate destiny that he has destined for men. There are a lot of projects in the diocese, but most of them are to help the diocese to sustain itself financially. We have plans to establish another commercial house, a four-story building. We don't have the money, but we have a big God who has the capacity, who owns the whole world and heavens and the fullness of them thereof, and we believe he can be able to provide. We have planned to establish a model girls high school right within, you know, this area, and uh, because that can give, you know, an opportunity and a special privilege for girls to acquire special and high-quality education. My support and your support are needed. Players, all financial support, it would be of great help. Let us help the development of the work of the Lord and we will get more rewards in heaven. We are praying for the big picture. We are still, you know, forecasting for 20, 20, 30 vision. Uh, there is still a lot to fill in. There is, you know, a lot that has been done and it's so much, much more that needs to be done. We need your prayers. We need your love. We need your support, precious brothers and sisters and kingdom citizens across his globe. And that is why I'm appealing to you. Uh, 
to be friends of Butare, to register as friends of Butare, to pray for Butare, to come alongside uh, Butare. And whatever you do, whatever you see, whatever you saw, whatever you invest in his kingdom through this diocese, the Bible says it shall be written in the book of remembrance. And when time comes, you know, that angels will open those books of remembrance and your works will be there and you will be crowned and the shining star that will be on your crown, that or those will be some of them. May God bless you. May God continue to crown you with his favor and grace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>